Peter Hopkins calling in for an update. We just finished day two of Moisture Find IR. Here we are in Irvine, California at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Today we've had a chance to learn a lot more about building science and how to use a pressurized testing system along with a spray rack. Mr. Peter Bennett, here we have you right here. You've had a chance now to attend many of our courses, and today you've had a chance to set up a spray rack and see kind of how these things are tested. Tomorrow we're going to put it to use in the laboratory. Tell me your thoughts about the class so far. class is excellent, Peter. Uh, I learned a lot of good technical information about uh, building science as well as how to set up the spray rack and pressurize the system. I highly recommend it to anybody who's even thinking about getting involved in United Infrared. The, uh, the, the directors and the technical advisors are beyond my belief. Tell me a little bit about, you know, as you talk about the directors, that's Mr. Scott Wood. He is our technical director for Moisture Find IR. Would you say the guy is science or what? He is Mr. Science. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well, you know, that's the idea, is not only just understanding the technology, but understanding the opportunity. And that's what United Infrared brings for you. Uh, Mr. Tim Vance, you're learning a lot about uh, the other applications, of course, of infrared. But all of this can just tie back to this building envelope, which you start at the top. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I work for a company called Suprema, and it's the best roof you can buy, actually. And uh, we're here to learn more how we can help our customers and help them be able to solve any problems they may have, but also give them good quality answers as to why those problems are happening. And with the moisture find, I'm learning a lot about chasing down leaks and new things that I can do and new ways that I can help our customers solve their problems. So the, the, the statement, what goes up must come down, do you find that true? It always seems to happen. <laughs> Very good. Well, we've enjoyed a great class so far, and we anticipate the best part tomorrow is putting it all together with our laboratory training, where we'll be going to Fenestration Testing Laboratory, where we're going to actually see the opportunity where these spray racks are in action, where we're going to do the water testing and pressure testing together. I hope you enjoy a lot of the photos that you're seeing along with this communication here about our Moisture Find IR. And I'm going to close out this conversation with Mr. Stockton for a review of this week and let us know what your thoughts are. Well, this is the first, I haven't been to the moisture class and this is the first time I had an opportunity and I, I think it's great. Scott does a beautiful job. He's very focused and he understands, of course, everybody knows he understands the, uh, the content. And we did a lot of hands-on uh, stuff today. Tomorrow is going to be very interesting going to a, a fenestration lab and a place where they um, do testing. And so I'm, in, uh, I'm enjoying the, the first time I've had a chance to do it. In fact, we're here at the Crown uh, Plaza and we're going to go up on their roof tonight and we've got a place that we're going to help them solve a problem on that we uh, that was covered up the other night when we were up there on an earlier cinch cast. <laughs> so anyway, I hope everybody's having a nice day, and this is Stockton signing off. Well, I'm not going to let you sign off just yet. You know, one of the things that Greg Stockton brings to this business is a guy who's been in the business a long time. He's had the opportunity to see many, many applications and, and the opportunities in infrared. And, you know, with United Infrared, Greg, I'd just like your take on, you know, what you've known and kind of where you've seen this technology evolve today? Well, the, you know, to, to, speaking about the moisture finding um, uh, part of it, I've done a bunch of moisture finding jobs, and most all of them are were big buildings. I, 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 don't, I, I never, in my, our business, we didn't, never focused much on residential, and so we did a lot of big hotels and and, uh, and big buildings, some industrial um, facilities, and some government buildings looking for moisture. And uh, I can tell you, it's a complicated business to find the moisture and look at it because you've got a bunch of different factors you got to worry about. you got to worry about setting up the building for the test. you got to have the right pressures and temperature. And you got to know where the sun comes up, where it goes down. And, and even today, we, we actually set up a, a positive air pressure test on one of the doors here, and so we could simulate the uh, uh, suction, 
so we can figure out exactly how much leakage the door had in a quantitative fashion, which is something that I never did when I was doing this before myself. So I had a great time at this class. Well, I think as you find that, that, you know, a lot of people's focused energy was on large commercial buildings. And what we're showing you is the opportunity with the 330 million homes that are in America. Think about it. You probably know somebody that's had a leak at some point, probably had a leak that didn't know where it came from. Well, that's the goal of our course with Moisture Find IR. You can find more about us on the web. And also view unitedinfrared.com if you're interested in the opportunity. We'd love to hear from you. That's 888-722-6447.